this afternoon. It's the Cubs and the Pirates from PNC as the Cubs go for the sweep. Cubs are playing well, hoping to deliver a present with another win here today. But it's not just about this series. They're right now in the middle of a stretch where they've won four straight series, and the play has been good. Rich Hill for the Pirates. Always love seeing Rich Hill on the mound, 43 years old. And boy, could he pitch. Finding his spot and getting the strikeout looking to start. So he saw four pitches, three fastballs. The other way, and a base hit. Suzuki let it get deep. And then rips it the other way on a curveball. It's a single with one out, a man aboard. A nice inside out swing right there. That's the swing that they were talking about. It's a just nice opposite field strike. Tough to double up Christopher Morell. Hits it in the air a lot. Right to the center fielder, Jack Sawinski. Stationed there this afternoon. Two men gone quickly here in the first inning. Stolen base attempt. Suzuki caught. That ends the inning. Hedges gets his fourth man of the year from behind the plate, and Rich Hill out of it in the first. Kyle Hendricks. Class is in session. Fester's out there on the bump. Look at that fastball usage, and a lot of those fastballs now and then are that four seed. On the ground to short, Nico Horner will glove it and throw him out. So a ground ball, and there's one away. Remember all the talk last year when Nico was going to be the everyday shortstop about his arm strength? Well, there's plenty of it there, and an outstanding throw to Mancini. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Gabe Morales on the call. Struck him out. And there's two away. Well, all you got to do is think back to the first pitch of that at bat, and it was a fastball in. What does it do? It sets up the changeup in. The delivery looked like it. The rotation looked like it. In the air, left field, charging in his hat in some more, and he makes a nice running catch. Kyle Hendricks off to a good start as the Pirates go one, two, three, end of one, no score. Connor Joe set to lead off the bottom of the second inning for the Pirates. Nothing, nothing. Joe hitting clean up and at first base, lead off walk. Good at bat from Connor Joe. Maybe this can get the Pirates on the board. Here's Josh Palacios. Hit down the line toward the wall and off of the wall. Joe reads it well. He's heading to third. He's on his way home and Connor Joe is in and the Pirates have the lead. Josh Palacios with a ripping double off the wall. Yeah, like you say, you just never know. That's a fastball that's up out over the plate. He does a good job of getting out and around it. And you, you never know how the ball's going to come off of that fence out there. Sometimes it'll come back towards you. Sometimes it'll kick right or left. And so that allows Connor Joe to come all the way around. Swing and a miss. Castro down on strikes. And a really good job of damage control by Kyle Hendricks. Pirates get the run. We'll head to the third one nothing. Miguel Amaya will lead off the Cub third inning. The young right headed batting rookie catcher. It's a line drive and a base hit. And that's going to go into the corner. And Amaya cruises into second. And he's got a lead off double. Continues to look solid at the plate. I've heard about this kid for a long time. I've seen a lot of great things. Obviously, none of us have seen much the last couple of years with all the injuries. But what I didn't know was his knowledge of the strike zone. He makes him come in the zone. He's patient. Mike Tockman hitting eighth, a lefty batter, center fielder. Tockman will take his base. So two aboard and nobody out. A promising start here to the third with the Cubs down one nothing against the oldest player in the major. Connor Joe picks up the bunt. Madrigal gets it down. And Madrigal. Amaya goes to third. Tockman to second. One away. Top of the order coming up. And that one laced the other way. That's a base hit. And that's going to score two into the corner. And that one gets away. And Horner around second on his way to third. And Nico makes it standing. We'll see if they call it a double and an error or a triple. But Nico knocks in a couple, and the Cubs are on top. Now the Chicago Cubs RBI leader just keeps on going. He hits it right down the line, and i got to believe this is a triple. Seiya Suzuki also with an RBI opportunity. The infield in. That's drilled out towards left center. Sawinski is there. Nico's going to tag. He'll score no problem. Just good situational hitting. So excellent offense here in this third inning by the Cubs. Two outs and two aboard and an opportunity to get that add on run. Line drive down the line. Fair ball. And that's going to get in the corner. 
Morell's in to score. They're going to send Mancini. Here's the throw to the plate, and it's way high. And in to score is Trey Mancini. It's a two-run double, and Ian Happ gives the Cubs the insurance. 5-1. It is now 52 consecutive games against these Pirates that Ian Happ has been on base, taking advantage of mistakes, and there's two more runs in an inning. Four straight reach with two outs for Chicago. Two runs in, and his day is done after five and two-thirds innings here on this Wednesday afternoon. Rowanzi Contreras. And he's going to face Miguel Amaya with two runs in and two on and two down. A guy that you expect to get the strikeout gets one here. Finish off the top of the sixth. Stranding two. Here's Nico Horner. In the air right field. That's well struck. That one back. And that's gone. Oh boy. The other way. Over the 21 foot high wall in right. Nico Horner an opposite field home run. His fifth. And it is now six to one. Bases loaded, one away. Mark Leiter Jr. on the mound. Cubs on top, six to one. Lefty hitter Marcano, I think for Austin Hedges. On the ground, first base, bobbled and missed. And it goes the Pirates' way. A little luck for the Pirates as they score two. And I'm afraid Mark Kirk just make sure he's all right. And Frangella just coming out to check on him. And the Pirates get a couple back. The Cubs had a couple of opportunities to get that out of first base. They do not. And maybe this is what changes everything. I mean, he bobbled it. He lost it after he caught it. And Leiter fell hard on his left arm. Look at how oh, far yeah, it got bent backward. Arm, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Ouch. And, and the only good news is it's his left arm, not his right arm. But that did not look good. He's not coming out if he no. doesn't have to. It might be broke, but he's he doesn't care. I mean he made the pitch he had to the inning should have been over. It looks like he's all right. Marcano at first the runner at third is Cal Mitchell on the ground to the right side there's Morrell and that is the inning a couple of unearned runs and the Pirates within three and six three out of the eight Madrigal to bat with the bags loaded two down. Let's see if Madrigal and the Cubs can grab that momentum right back. Here's a line drive into right center field a base hit. How about that. One run is in two runs are in clutch single Nick Madrigal and a great call by Ron Coomer nicely and inside out it and hit that line drive the other way right. That's been his forte big eighth inning two out single. And the Cubs now lead eight to three. Well, the Cubs are an out away of taking the first six games of the season series against the Pirates. Oh, belly hands. Ball game. Cubs win. And they sweep the Pirates. And the Cubs only three and a half out of first place. Whoa. So for the third time in franchise history, they've started six and zero oh against the Pirates. And it's off to London.